In 1968, Georgia Romero unleashed Night of the Living Dead upon audiences, a film that would redefine the horror genre. The raw intensity of this black and white classic, notable for its stark realism and minimalist production, has left an indelible mark on countless viewers. Whether it was the first time you encountered the shambling horrors on screen or a specific scene that seared itself into your memory, the film's impact is undeniable. Now, when was the first time you watched this movie? Is there a particular scene or moment that has had a lasting impact on you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We would love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic film. As we dive into the realm of random facts about Night of the Living Dead, it's fascinating to note that despite its modest budget, the film became a cultural phenomenon, pioneering the zombie genre as we know it today. The socio-political undertones embedded in the narrative added depth, turning it into a commentary on society's vulnerabilities. So, what's your story? Your unique perspective adds to the rich tapestry of experiences tied to this cinematic gem. Share your memories and join the conversation below. Night of the Living Dead, directed by Georgia Romero in 1968, is a landmark film in the horror genre that revolutionized the zombie subgenre. The film follows a disparate group of people trapped in a farmhouse as they fend off reanimated corpses with an insatiable hunger for human flesh. Originating from a modest budget, the film's raw intensity and social commentary on race and societal breakdown set it apart. Ben, played by Dwayne Jones, emerges as an iconic character, breaking racial norms of the time by being a strong, resourceful black protagonist. Romero's innovative use of black and white cinematography adds a stark and chilling atmosphere, complementing the film's minimalist yet effective special effects. Night of the Living Dead not only laid the foundation for the modern zombie film, but also sparked discussions on race relations and survival in the face of an apocalyptic threat. Its influence on horror cinema and pop culture endures, cementing its status as a classic that remains relevant decades later. The cause of the dead rising in the 1968 movie Night of the Living Dead is shrouded in mystery. While a theory suggests radiation from a Venus-bound satellite might be responsible, the filmmakers intentionally leave the actual cause undetermined. This ambiguity adds to the unsettling atmosphere of the film, leaving viewers with a lingering sense of dread and speculation. The movie's director, Georgia Romero, had a close encounter with danger during the filming. Operating the camera himself, he captured the intense scene where S. William Hinsman, portraying the cemetery zombie, attacks Barbara in her car. In a hair-raising moment, Hinsman smashed the car window with a rock, narrowly missing Romero. This behind-the-scenes incident underscores the raw and unpredictable nature of the film's production, contributing to its authenticity. One enigma that remains unexplained is the inert body found upstairs in the farmhouse. Unlike other reanimated corpses, this particular cadaver never comes back to life. The deliberate omission of an explanation adds an eerie layer to the narrative, leaving audiences to ponder the mysteries within the film. These subtle nuances, from the unconfirmed cause of the undead uprising to the real dangers faced during filming, contribute to the enduring intrigue of Night of the Living Dead. The film's willingness to leave certain elements unresolved enhances its impact, allowing it to transcend mere horror and become a thought-provoking cinematic experience. Dwayne Jones, an unknown stage actor at the time, took on the lead role in Night of the Living Dead, a 1968 film that redefined the horror genre. Despite being a pivotal figure in the movie, Jones faced challenges off-screen. Marilyn Eastman, part of the cast and crew, later revealed that Jones, while praised for his performance, was described as a tortured individual due to the racial tensions in America during the late 60s. Jonas' impact on those around him extended beyond the film's production. Carl Hardman, who formed a close friendship with Jones, was deeply affected by Jonas' death in 1988. Hardman believed that Jones received an unfair deal in life, influenced by the racial tensions prevalent in the nation during that era. This personal connection sheds light on the broader social context that permeated the making of Night of the Living Dead, and adds a poignant layer to the film's legacy. 
While Jones faced challenges related to racial tensions, the film's production itself had its share of unique aspects. Marilyn Eastman, responsible for the makeup on the actors playing zombies, adopted a distinctive approach. Instead of focusing on a typical rotting appearance, she emphasized a prominent facial feature for each actor, creating an unsettling image. Eastman's dedication to detail extended to her own portrayal of a zombie, discreetly hidden under layers of makeup during a memorable scene. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes provide a glimpse into the complexities of the film's creation, intertwining personal challenges with creative choices. As Night of the Living Dead continues to be a cultural touchstone, the intertwining narratives of its lead actor and the creative team behind the scenes underscore the enduring impact of this 1968 horror classic. The 1968 movie Night of the Living Dead, directed by Georgia Romero, harbors interesting behind-the-scenes details. Originally, Romero aimed to cast Betty Aberlin of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood as Barbara, but Fred Rogers vetoed the idea. Interestingly, the film was initially 10 minutes longer, but distributor pressure led to significant cuts. In 2013, a stage adaptation of Night of the Living Dead, executive produced by Romero, Russell Strainer, and John o. Russo, premiered in Toronto. The play not only retold the original story, but also explored alternate scenarios. These lesser-known aspects add layers to the film's history, showcasing the challenges in casting and editing decisions. They highlight the dynamic process of bringing this iconic horror classic to life, demonstrating the collaborative efforts behind the scenes. In his final interview, Dwayne Jones shared a unique perspective on the filming of Night of the Living Dead. Amidst the intensity of the shoot, he recalled an unpleasant moment when someone smashed a moth on set. This seemingly trivial incident stood out in an otherwise pleasant filming experience. Jones, the lead actor in the 1968 horror classic, revealed in his last interview that he had never watched any of the other dead movies or any other films directed by Georgia Romero. This admission adds a layer of intrigue, considering Jonas' pivotal role in the groundbreaking movie that reshaped the horror genre. Interestingly, one of the original script ideas for Night of the Living Dead envisioned Barbara as a strong and charismatic character. However, Georgia Romero and the producers were impressed by Judith O'Dee's portrayal of a terrified young girl. This led to a script adjustment, emphasizing O'Dee's portrayal. The concept of a strong Barbara resurfaced in the 1990 adaptation of Night of the Living Dead. These behind-the-scenes revelations provide a glimpse into the nuanced decision-making and dynamics that shaped the iconic film. From unexpected moments on set to the lead actor's unique perspective, Night of the Living Dead's production journey is as fascinating as the horror it brought to the screen. As we bid adieu to the eerie world of Night of the Living Dead, let's not just close the book, let's linger in the haunting corridors of our minds where the echoes of this cinematic masterpiece resonate. In the moonlit realm of 1968, Georgia Romero gifted us a celluloid symphony of fear and introspection. The black and white tapestry woven with the undead has not merely entertained. It has burrowed into the collective soul of generations. Now, it's your turn to step into the shadows of your own memories. What does Night of the Living Dead mean to you? Was it the spine-chilling soundtrack that played a sinister sonnet to your nerves? Or perhaps it was the stark social commentary that mirrored the fears lurking in society's dark corners. As you reflect on this cinematic gem, we invite you to share your thoughts. Unearth your favorite scenes, dissect the symbolism, or recount the first time the undead sent shivers down your spine. Let the discussion thrive like a resilient survivor in a post-apocalyptic world, connecting us through the shared experience of terror and fascination. Your thoughts are the beating heart that keeps the legacy of Night of the Living Dead alive. So, type away and let the conversation flow like a macabre dance with the unknown. We're eager to hear your tales from the crypt. Thank you for taking this journey with us, delving into the cryptic corners of cinematic history. Your time and musings are valued, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Dive deeper, my fellow cinephile and share your narrative with us. After all, the undead aren't the only ones who can rise again.